nice to see faces uh, behind the Zoom screen. Thanks again, everyone. And we'll get started in, that's totally fine, whatever you need to do. I do want to mention this before we get started. A lot of you practice with me regularly, but you take whatever it is that you need today. That can be the entirety of the physical practice. That can be nothing. As far as I'm concerned, you take whatever you need over the next 75 to 90 minutes, um, whether that's the whole thing or none of it. Take what you need and take care of you. Um, we'll get started in supported Tadasana. So this is a restorative backbend using two blocks. Can I have that other block, please? Thank you. Okay, so with supported Tadasana, you'll take your two blocks and you'll put this behind you. The first block will go wide and low. This will brace your shoulder blades or right underneath your heart. Second block about six to eight inches further back goes to second setting and this will support the back of your head. So shoulder blades, sorry, Lacey, shoulder blades and then the back of your head. A lot of you I know are familiar with this back bend. So if you'd like a little more lift and stretch, you'll take second height for shoulder blades, third height for behind your head. So just know that you have some options. What it looks like when you're in the pose, you'll take your hands to the first block, shoulder blades first, and then recline down to the back of your head next. You let your elbows, forearms, and the backs of your hands occupy rest on the floor at your sides. And then you have a few options with your legs. You can extend them long, from hips to heels. You can open up your hips, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees splay wide. Or you take what's called constructive rest, bring the soles of your feet to your mat, angle your toes in and knock your inner bent knees together. Now with all of that said and done, that first pose, it is nothing more than a suggestion. So starting practice in it, if that does not feel right, if it does not land well in your physical body, you are more than welcome to start class flat on your back. Take as much time as you need to fidget to adjust. That might be the removal of glasses, the removal of a wristwatch or piece of jewelry, or even something simple like smoothing out a waistband or seam on your clothing. Right. All of these details, though they seem subtle, they are meant to support your rest and relaxation. Now, with your wholehearted attention, you acknowledge that you no longer have to do anything to get here. Right. You've arrived on the four corners of your space. To embody that, to feel that, We'll do a series of three cleansing exhales from your nostrils to your navel center. Take a deep breath in, pause at the top when your heart feels full and open mouth exhale to release. Try that on two more times, nostrils to navel, take a deep breath in and open mouth, let it go. Nothing else to do, nowhere else to be. One more time, take a big breath in, widen your ribs, fill up your chest, and open mouth exhale. Closure of your mouth, breathe in through your nose. Steady and slow, breathe out through your nose. And this morning, I'd like to share with you a reading from one of my favorite books It's called Meditations from the Mat, Daily Reflections on the Path of Yoga, the author Rolf Gates. As I share this reading, my invitation to you is to take what resonates. And then by conscious choice, you choose to leave the rest behind. Much like any formal meditation, when you lose sight of the task at hand and you find that you've slipped into a state of distraction, please come back. Feel the breath in your body and receive the sound of my voice. Day 364. Consider the forest, lakes, silent economy and tidiness how the sun comes with his evaporation to sweep the dust from its surface each morning. 
and a fresh surface is constantly welling up. A quote from Henry David Thoreau. When I drank, I would get to the end of something and I would be exhausted. There would be a tremendous push to the finish line. And then I would want to escape to get as far away as I possibly could. I did not go to my college graduation and have been back to my alma mater only once since. I got used to things ending this way. And so it was with great surprise that at the end of my first year without a drink, I felt invigorated and eager for more. I had never experienced a completion or an ending like that. The next year, the same was true. Over time, other things started to end this way. What was once completely impossible for me has become the norm. Sober, I've been able to tap into an entirely different source of energy. Now I find that I am nourished, not by the thought of something being finished, but rather by the process itself. Caught up in life, I've discovered that endings done properly are excellent beginnings. Having tapped into the love that brings peace, I have become like Thoreau's lake. My soul swept clean each day, a fresh surface constantly welling up. And as this reading registers in your body for the first time this morning, take a deep breath in and a complete breath out. January 1st, marking naturally an end to the year that's behind us, symbolizing this fresh start, this new beginning. During my meditation this morning, I reflected on the theme that I'd like to carry into this next year. And there were three words that kept coming into my heart and my mind. Confident, calm, and capable. Confident, calm, and capable. And as I share those three words, the intention that I hold in my heart, if they resonate with you, perhaps you carry those three words with you throughout the duration of this practice, maybe into the rest of your day or week or into the year ahead. Confident, calm, and capable. If what I've read and what I've shared if that hasn't really struck a chord in your heart, know that you are more than welcome to establish or clarify your own intention. Get really clear on your reason for being here today. Before we move on from stillness, we'll further develop the pranayama practice or the breath work. So from your nostrils down to your navel center, take a big breath into the openness of your front body and open mouth exhale to soften your back body. Closure of your mouth, ujjayi breath in through your nose, start to constrict or tone your throat and ujjayi breath out through your nose. Maintain the constriction deep in your throat. Now it's worth a reminder that this breath technique is intentionally warming, it's heating for the physical practice. So if at any point throughout class today you become overwhelmed or overheated, cleanse your exhale and give yourself the space to return to rest. If you'd like more time and supported Tadasana, stay in that restorative back bend for as long or as little as you would like. But if there's a readiness to move on, You'll stay on these blocks for last few breaths. Close off your knees if your hips are still open and then take a full body stretch. Elongate your arms over your head and extend your legs along in front of you. As you lengthen your limbs to traction your spine, feel that length without strain or pull. Take some gentle rotations into your ankles and out through your wrists. 
both directions. Release your elbows, forearms, and the backs of your hands to the floor. Bend into your knees, feet touch mat. You'll roll to fetal pose on your right side. Use your upper right arm as a pillow to cradle the side of your head. Lift your knees comfortably high and tuck your chin relatively low. And direct a breath into your back ribs or your middle spine. Feel the echo of where you've been. That hold and stillness. And then in a way that's easy, you'll press your hands into the floor just enough to clear your mat space of the two blocks. Once your blocks are clear, roll onto your back and hug both knees in towards your chest. Just a little sway and cradle to the right and to the left. Feel your low back and your shoulders sway to the right and to the left. Figure four on the right, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Your left foot can plant on the floor, or you can lift your legs and take an active bind. You'd interlace your fingers on left hamstrings or left shin. It's only too early or too soon if you force your body too deep into the posture. So you find that appropriate depth and please make sure that you can maintain the breath. And through your nose, down to your belly. And out through your nose, you'll soften your belly. Now keep your figure four legs, stretch your arms open like a big capital T or a goal post. Drop your figure four over to the left for a spinal twist. Turn your neck and gaze to the right. Your outer right hip softens down. And you have the option to place your left hand at your inner right thigh and gently press your right leg away. You'll experience a little more stretch through right glute and right IT band. As a reminder though, going deeper in your postures is not inherently better. Your best is wherever you can actually breathe. That's where the physical practice is most healing, most beneficial to you. Pay attention to where you're at in the breath cycle. Inhale, lift your knees and your gaze through the middle. Exhale, happy baby pose. Flare your bent knees wide. Flex your feet and stack heels above knees. And then you grab a hold of what you can. It might be your hamstrings, your ankles, or your arches. Shoulders are grounded, neck is soft. Optional sway to the right and to the left. And perhaps you can cultivate a breath that's a little bit wider as well as deeper. Using that task to hold your attention. No ego, no expectation as you approach second side. Let it be a branch and experience. Figure four on the left. And cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Right foot can absolutely stay grounded or lift your legs and take that active bind. Right hamstrings, right shin. Chin beneath forehead, elongate the back of your neck and take a few really big breaths into your outer left hip and glute muscle. Whether the posture feels incredibly easy or really challenging, the breath is meant to be untouched or unharmed. The steadiness of your breath, it mirrors the focused quality of your mind. Now keep your figure four legs, arm stretch open, capital T or goal post. And you drop your figure four over to the right, spinal twist. Any amount, turn your neck, look to the left. You can stay right here, but if you'd like to explore, place your right hand at your inner left thigh and bring gentle pressure to deepen the stretch. And subtle but still important, unclench your jaw and soften the area behind your closed eyes. And for right now, decide that this is enough. 
The ego might show up and insist it's too slow, not enough, or even boring. But you remember in your higher heart your reason for being here today. Stay in the spinal twist for a wide breath in. And exhale, unwind, return to center, take happy baby pose. Bent knees flare wide. You might take a lesser bind, a deeper bind. You might mimic exactly where you were the first time. And on your inhalation, you feel the low belly expand. On your exhalation, you pull your thighs and knees closer to the floor. Try that on two more times. Take a deep breath in. Your exhalation, pull quads and knees closer to the mat. One more time through, sensation without pain. Big breath in. And a complete breath out. Find your closure, draw your knees in towards your chest. And then you'll start to rock and roll the length of your spine, go front to back, bring some to tailbone. <laughs> and as you rock and roll the length of your spine, be mindful of your cat if she's insistent at the bottom edge of your mat. We'll roll through to tabletop, come to your hands and knees. Shoulders over wrists, spread your fingers nice and wide. And then do a double check, just make sure that your feet disappear behind your knees. Inhale, cow pose, lift your heart, lift your head, gazes forward or slightly upward. And exhale, cat back, tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis. We press through palms. Smooth and steady, inhale, cow pose. Nothing is meant to feel erratic or rushed. And then exhale, cat spine. With the ujjayi breath, again, inhale, cow pose. Broad heart. And exhale, cat back. Really lengthen through low spine, tuck your pelvis under. One more time through, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat back. Now keep your cat back body. Tuck your toes under and hover your knees an inch or two off the floor. If this is too intense and it causes you to harm the breath, know that you can modify entirely and simply remain in tabletop with a cat back. Deep tuck of the chin to the chest, get really round through the cervical spine. As you maintain that one to two inch hover of the knees, breathe really deep and wide for a count of five, four, Three, two, down to your low belly, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Elevate your hips and lower through your heels. As you look at your feet with your hips with distance, start to pedal out your heels, lift and lower one at a time. If you habitually hold tension through the shoulders, soften them out of your ears. You can even pull your armpits down towards your outer hips. If at any point this morning you feel that you want or need rest, please honor what's coming up in real time. Give yourself the space and the grace to reset. And I would encourage you to take that rest long before you feel exhausted or frustrated. Soft through your facial expression, take a breath in. And exhale, tabletop, knees return. Now, big step forward, right foot outside of your right hand. So passive lizard lunge. Your heart will lift, your head will lift. We'll work the diagonal plane. Big step back, right foot step over to the left. You'll sink your left ribs and left chest very close to the left knee and drop the chin towards the chest. Get a little side body stretch to the right side. Deep compression through the left hip. Again, on your inhale, step forward, right foot outside of right hand. Lift the heart, lift the head. And exhale, big step back, cross to the left and sink your hips. Again, inhale, step forward, lift your heart, lift your gaze. And exhale, step back, right foot cross to the left. One more time through, inhale, step forward, bend your back, lift your heart. And exhale, step your right foot back, cross over to the left. Stay here, take a few breaths. Get your hips as low as you can, your heart and your head as low as you can. And all the way down into your left hip crease, take a breath in. And exhale, tabletop, right knee return. 
Keep your left hand down. Inhale, right arm high, open chest. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring your right shoulder and right temple close to the floor. Inhale, right arm high. And exhale, thread it through, squeeze your chest, look to the left. Inhale, right arm lift. Work the neck, open the heart. And exhale, thread the needle. This time, bring your right shoulder and your right temple all the way down to the floor. Option to keep your left hand where it is or walk your left fingertips forward to the small front edge of your space. A little side body stretch as you pull the left hip back. Just notice what it feels like to breathe here. At this point in your day, at this point in your week. And you feel your left hand under left shoulder. Inhale, right arm high. Open through the chest. Exhale, spinal balance. Right arm forward, square chest to the floor. Then extend your left leg long behind you. You engage your abdominal, slight tuck of the pelvis. Bring length into the sides of your neck. Draw your shoulders down. Just as you are, take a breath in. Exhale, reach your right arm to the right and kick your left leg to the left. Inhale, spinal balance, find the middle. Right arm forward, left leg back. And exhale, open, right arm to the right, left leg to the left. One more, inhale through the middle. And exhale, open and hold, open and hold. Keep your chin off your chest. Lift the back of your right hand and your outer left heel. To the best of your ability, your right hip is over your right knee, super strong, simultaneously calm for three, two, take a breath in to lift, and exhale, tabletop. Regulate with the breath. Inhale, cow pose, heart forward. Stay with me. Exhale, hips to heels, forehead to mat. Inhale, stand on your knees, arms high, gaze high. Exhale, downward facing dog, plant your hands and tuck your toes. Inhale, cow pose, heart up, shoulders back. And exhale, hips to heels, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, stand on your knees, sweep arms high. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more kneeling salutation, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, stand on your knees, energy rise. Palms might touch. Exhale, downward facing dog. You plant and lift your hips. Set your gaze at the space between your feet or close your eyes and take five rounds of breath. If you'd rather regroup in child pose, sink your hips to your heels and let your forehead take rest on the floor. And as you reorganize the breath, remember the intention that you hold in your heart. Confident, calm, and capable. If it's your own intention, you alive in that energy in your being, you breathe it in and you breathe it out. Find your tabletop hands and knees, familiar, but no ego, no expectation. A big step forward, left foot outside of your left hand for your kneeling lizard lunge. If you want extra support, you can put blocks underneath your palms. And on the inhale, you lift your heart, lift your head, look upward. Exhale, step back. Left foot, cross over to the right. Sink your right hip towards your right heel. Feel the stretch through your left side body, your waist, your ribs, your lat muscle. Let's soften through the back of the neck and unclench your jaw. Now with the breathing, inhale to your lizard lunge, step forward, sink your hips, lift the heart, the head. And exhale, step it back, left foot cross the midline, reach to the right and sink your hips back. Again, inhale to your lizard lunge. And exhale to sink back. 
One more time through. Inhale to lizard. Strong hands, open the heart. And exhale, sink back. This time it's a hold and breathe. See how close you can melt your right ribs, right chest, even your forehead towards the ground. And if it looks different, if it feels different from the first side, be okay with that, maintain the breath. Be open to that. You alive in your hands as you return to table, come to hands and knees. Right hand stay, inhale, left arm high, open chest. And exhale, thread the needle, close the chest, reach to the right. Inhale, left arm high. Work to stack your shoulders and your wrists. Exhale, thread it through. One more time, breathe in, lift up, look up. Breathe out, thread the needle, close the chest and take a few breaths. If you're already feeling enough, right hand stays as it is. But if you want that side body stretch, walk your right fingertips forward and pull your right hip back in space. You may even direct the breath a little higher into the left chest and left shoulder. And you know where you are, you know what you're doing. Right hand under right shoulder. Inhale, left arm high. Twist the neck and look up. Exhale, spinal balance, left arm forward. Square your shoulders and then extend your right leg long behind you. You'll stay in the middle channel, but engage your abdominals. And draw your shoulders away from your earlobes. In the middle, feel the breath in. Exhale, left arm to the left, right leg to the right. Inhale, spinal balance. No urgency, no rush. And exhale, open, smooth, and in control. One more time, inhale, spinal balance. Exhale, open in opposite directions, but work to maintain the breath. Lift the back of your left hand and lift your outer right heel. And then that last shift, it's left hip over left knee for a count of three. How's the breath? Two and one. Inhale, spinal balance, find the middle. And exhale, tabletop. Regulate with breathing. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, hips to your heels. Inhale, stand on your knees. Energy rise, arms up. Palms flip forward. Exhale, down dog. Reach, plant, and then lift. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, stand on your knees, arms high. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time through, inhale, cow. You might soften your gaze or close them entirely. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, stand on your knees, feel the ribs lift your waist lengthen, exhale, downward facing dog. Now press down through the base of your palms, firm into your knuckles and grip with your finger pads. So we call that asta bandha, it's a hand lock. Just another way to control your energy and be in your body. You draw shoulders down, feel a heaviness through the head and start to press your chest back towards your legs as if your hairline or even the top of your head can get closer to the floor. Stretch and sensation without jarring or jamming your body too deep in the pose. Look at the space between your feet. Walk your hands to your toes at the back of your space. Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Feet hips with distance, if not wider. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to your shins or press to your thighs. Exhale, forward fold. With your breath, inhale, halfway lift, shoulder blades squeeze together, chest is really broad, exhale, forward fold. One more time through, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. As your head goes heavy, feel front ribs get closer to thighs. You might bend your knees a little or a lot to make that happen. And then optional chest expansion, interlace your fingers at your low back, bring the base of your palms together, 
and start to wrap your shoulders open. If it's too intense and you find you can barely breathe, just give this bind a no thank you for now. And with quality control, you break the bind and trace your fingertips back to your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, a little more free through the upper half. And exhale, forward fold. Bend your left knee, plant your left hand, fingertips or flat palm. Inhale, reach your right arm high. And exhale to your half bind, bend your right elbow, take your right forearm around your back body. You might reach your right fingertips towards your left hip crease or even your inner left thigh. Turn the neck, your gaze is up. And then pull your right hip back as you breathe in. And exhale, forward fold, two straight legs and a heavy head. Inhale, halfway lift, chest open. And exhale, forward fold. Bend your right knee, plant your right hand. Inhale, left arm high. And exhale to your half bind, bend your left elbow. Take your left forearm around the back of your torso. Option to reach your left fingertips towards your right thigh or even the inner right thigh. Turn the neck and look up. Then feel your left hip crease pull back. All the way down to your low belly, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, straighten legs. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, high plank. Walk your hands forward and spread your fingers wide. From the base of your palms out to your finger pads, you aliven. Take a strong breath in. Exhale, pass through chaturanga, tricep push up. You can drop to your knees if you like, and then lower all the way down to the belly, front ribs and chest. Tops of feet press down. Inhale, bhujangasana, cobra pose. Lift your heart, lift your neck, lift your head, left. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Bent elbows hug in, shoulders slide down your back. And exhale, lower down. Relax your butt cheeks and your eyebrows. Inhale, cobra pose, fill up with breath. And exhale, lower down. This last one's a hold, inhale, cobra. You only lift as high as you can maintain the breath. Option to hover your hands, really recruit the low back body, but try to distinguish, relax your buttocks, target the low back. Elbows lift a little higher, and then hug them in towards one another. Feel incredibly broad through your frontal shoulders. All the way to your low belly, breathe in to lift your heart. Exhale, lower down. Plant your hands, tuck your toes. Inhale, table or high plank, you decide. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward to fingers. Exhale, travel forward quietly and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Your big toes come together. You have an inch between heels. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms down, out, then high, all the way up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, soft knees, come back down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, high plank, strong hands, quiet feet, whether you step or jump back. At the top of your push-up, feel the breath in. Exhale, pass through chaturanga. You can drop to your knees, lower down to belly, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra, lift the heart, lift the head. Exhale, downward facing dog. Be mindful of your facial expression as you feel the breath in and you feel the breath out. Strong hands, inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward with control. Inhale, halfway lift, weight to your heels, buttocks push back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward stretch, arms stretch down, out, then high above your head. Exhale, forward fold, come right back down. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is flat. Exhale, high plank, strong hands, quiet feet, top of your push-up. Feel the breath in, expand your ribs. Exhale, pass through chaturanga, drop to knees if you like, and lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, 
or repeat cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lower your heels and look at your toes. Take the breath in and feel the breath out. Inhale, look forward to fingers. Exhale, quietly travel. Inhale, halfway lift, big toes touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, weight to your heels, arms sweep high. And on your exhale, chair plane, front ribs to thighs, chest towards your knees. Squeeze your legs together, inhale, chair pose. Weight back in the heels, exhale, chair plane, really high on your hands, engage your triceps. Again, inhale, chair pose, lift the chin, lift your eyes. And exhale, chair plane, straight arms. This time when you get low, stay low, soften through the back of the neck, option to lift your heels. See what's available to you in terms of balance today. Squeeze heels, knees, and your inner thighs together. As you reorganize the breath, lower your heels with control. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, straight legs, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, spread fingers, feet go back. At the top of your push-up, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Feel your body breathe in and feel your body breathe out. Child pose, big toes together. Take your bent knees comfortably wide and sink your hips to your heels. If the center and child pose feels most excellent in your body, stay here. But if you want the side body stretch, walk hands, arms, and torso over to the right. Tuck your chin a little closer to your chest as you bow out your left waist. Much like I offered in our opening meditation, if and when your attention divides, and you find that you're no longer with the breath or the sensations in your body, give yourself the space and the grace to come back. If you're in asymmetry, take a breath in. And exhale, pass through center and walk everything over to the left. Your right hip sinks towards your right heel. You actively bow out the right side. Send your right ribs to the right side of your mat. While your jaw is spacious and your tongue is relaxed, take a few breaths. In the breath, it has this incredible power to energize the present moment, to establish a deeper connection to the present moment. And simultaneously vulnerable and courageous, you feel your body breathe in. Exhale, child pose, come back through the middle. If you'd like more time and rest, absolutely extend your stay. If you're ready to move on, table, top, and then kick your right leg over to the right side of the space. Your right heel is in line with your right hip. Great, on your inhale, stand on your left knee, arms sweep high, lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, gate pose, right hand down, bow up the left side. Inhale, stand on your left knee, arms lift. And exhale, plant your left hand and float your right foot. Just be mindful of your neighbors as you lift the right leg. Inhale, come to center, stand on left knee, arms high, gaze high. Exhale, gate pose, sway to the right, turn your chin and look up. Inhale through the middle, lift the ribs. Exhale, plant your left hand and lift your right foot, flex it very strong. Inhale through center, arms high, gaze high. Exhale, gate pose, sway to the right. Inhale through the middle, this last one's a hold. Exhale to plant your left hand, 
and lift your right foot. Now for more stability, you would turn the neck and look down, but to challenge the balance, turn your neck and look up at your right hand. If you'd like more of a back bend and a quad stretch, bend your right knee, grab a hold of your right foot with your right hand. You kick back or you kick up. Set your gaze and breathe really big with and through your choice. For three, firm on the left hand, stay long through the left side of the neck for two, and one, release the bind. Inhale, come to center, stand on left knee. Palms are forward, exhale, half child pose. Sink left hip to left heel, forehead towards the floor. Do you stretch through your inner right thigh? Your right foot can be flat, or you can flex your right foot. Heel down, right toes up. Just notice any change in the breath pace, any rise or fall in your energy. And as you're closer to the ground, stable and secure, feel your body breathe in and feel your body breathe out. Rise through table, return to hands and collect your right knee. We'll take that over to the left. Extend your left leg over to the left side of your space. Outer heel in line with left hip. Inhale to stand on your right knee, arms are high. Look up and lengthen, exhale, gate pose. Sway to the left, bow your right ribs. Inhale through the middle, shoulders soft, hands are high. Exhale, plant your right hand and lift your left foot. Just be mindful of what's close. Inhale, stand on your right knee, arms are up. Exhale, gate pose. Wrap your right shoulder back, lean back. Inhale through the middle, arms up, hands are alive. Exhale, plant your right hand and float your left heel. One more time through, inhale through center. Exhale, gate pose, you stretch to the left. Inhale through the middle. And exhale, plant your right hand, lift your left foot. You can stay here. Assess the gaze. You can look down for more stability. Turn the neck and look up. If you want that quad stretch and back bend, bend your left knee. Grab a hold of your left foot with your left hand. Kick up or kick back. Whatever it is that you're looking at, actually see it. Use that to concentrate and focus for three. Here's two. Right shoulder down. That's one. Break the bind with control. Inhale, stand on your right knee, arms up. Exhale, half child pose, right hip to right heel, arms forward, head downward. Relax the shoulders. Get really heavy through your elbows, passive through your hands, and then just take a few breaths. Feel into your left foot. You can keep it flat or flex it. Heel down, toes are high. As you reorganize the breath and you remember that you're safe and what you're doing is important, you rise up through table, hands and knees, downward facing dog, tuck your toes under and elevate your hips. See your feet at hips width distance so you're not too wide, not too shallow, alive in your hands. Remember that lock from the base of your palms to your knuckles and finger pads. Inhale, lift your right leg high, down dog kick. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, shift forward and squeeze. Inhale, down dog kick, press your chest back. Exhale, right knee to your nose, chin to your throat. Inhale, kick it up. And exhale, right knee to your left arm, shoulders over wrist, super strong. Inhale, down dog kick. Now look at your hands, exhale, step between them. Left knee down, untuck your left toes. Take your hands to your right thigh, so just above your right knee, and then you'll come in and out of the lunge a few times. Shift forward and shift back. Just warming up through your left hip flexor. And then you'll feel that your left foot is directly behind your left knee. Really press down to the top of your left foot, solidify. The next time you're in the lunge where your hips are forward, stay there. Engage your abdominal, slight tuck of the pelvis, option to lift your arms up. If that's too intense, hands stay down on your right thigh, please. Slight lift of the chin, pull your shoulders and armpits down. 
to your efforts in your kneeling lunge, feel the breath in. Exhale, half splits, hand come down, hands come down, excuse me, straighten out to the right leg and dig into your right heel. You can stay with a flex of your right foot, so a little more calf and hamstrings, or point, a little more front of the ankle and shin. You can navigate both if that feels best in your body. Just be mindful of any white knuckles, any clench in the jaw, those unnecessary efforts. Now it's subtle. On your inhale, look forward, lift the chest. Exhale, low lunge, rebend your right knee and tuck under left toes. Two strong feet, inhale, high crescent, shoulders over hips. Look at your horizon line. Focus, concentrate, know where you're at. Take a breath in, lift your arms. And exhale, open arm twist to the right, right arm draw back, left arm forward. With the breath, inhale, high crescent. Lift the chin and the gaze to challenge your balance. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Squeeze your inner legs together. One more, inhale, high crescent. And exhale, open arm twist to the right. Right ribs back, shoulder blade squeeze. Inhale, high crescent, sink your hips. And exhale, warrior two. Feel your left heel press down, arms press down. Gaze is forward, look at the back of your right hand. Flip your right palm, inhale to reverse warrior, right arm high. Stay bent in your right knee. Engage your abdominals, tuck the pelvis under. Through your right waist, take a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your hands to the floor and lift your left heel. Inhale, standing splits, right foot stay, left leg rise. You melt your right ribs, right chest, closer to your right leg. If you want blocks underneath your palms, by all means, set your space. Be a little more grounded and stable. And then tuck your chin in towards your chest. Gaze up towards your navel center with a loving awareness. Aliven through your left foot and take a big breath in. Exhale, left foot, lower down and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees and lift your arms. Exhale, prayer twist over to the right, hands together, left elbow to right leg. Stay in the twist, inhale, open your arms, look up. Stay in the twist, exhale, hands back to your heart. Inhale, chair pose, feel the middle. Stay in the middle, exhale, chair plane, ribs to thighs. Inhale, chair pose, lengthen. Exhale, prayer twist over to the left, right elbow touch. Stay in your twist. Inhale, open your arms. Stay in your twist. Exhale, thumbs to your heart. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Confident, capable, calm. Exhale, high plank. Plant your hands and step your feet back. At the top of your push-up, feel your breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. That's a tricep push-up, so hug your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing. It's about five rounds of breath. You regulate in down dog or take child pose. Set your gaze or close your eyes. And really work to slow down the pace of your breath. Choose a slower breath. If you've opted for rest and you'd like to extend your stay for as long as you like, stay grounded. If you're ready to move on, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high, down dog kick. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, shift forward and squeeze. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Inhale, kick high. Your hips are square. Exhale, twist across. Left knee to your right arm. Inhale, kick up. Now look forward. Exhale, step between your hands. Right knee down. Untuck right toes. Lift your hands and place them on your left thigh. Now, with hands on your left thigh, you'll shift back and then shift forward. 
This is to warm up through the right hip flexor a little bit more. Press down through the top of the right foot. Stay open through the heart and lift it through the chin. This here for three, two, and one. The next time you're in your low lunge, stay. Engage your abdominals, front ribs back. Then sweep your arms if that feels safe and appropriate to you. Establish a drishti or a focal point. So you funnel your concentration down to something small and unmoving. That will help you to sustain the posture while the breath pace speeds up and while the heat begins to build. Three, two, take a breath into your efforts. Exhale, half split, release your hands down. Dig into your left heel and fold. You might put blocks underneath your hands. But work to flatten out your back, especially the middle spine. There's a tendency to round. Heart stays open, shoulders are soft. Option to point and flex. Option to choose one or the other. And closer to the ground, feel that you're safe. You're stable. Stay with it, subtlety. Inhale, lift the heart and the gaze. Exhale, low lunge, bend your left knee and tuck under right toes. Inhale, high crescent, catch your balance as you lift. Look at your horizon line, whatever that means for you. Left hip back, right hip forward. Now you'll take a breath in to prepare, lift your hands. Exhale, open arm twist to the left, left arm back. Wonderful, two more. Inhale, high crescent, shoulder soft. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Really use your left waist. One more, inhale, high crescent. Look up, challenge your balance. Exhale, open arm twist to the left, look back. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two, right heel plant, palms press down. Feel solid through both feet, grip with your toes. Turn your neck and look at your left hand. Flip your left palm, inhale to reverse warrior, C curve your spine. If anything changes, you get a little deeper through the lunge. And then engage your abdominals and tuck your pelvis under. Through your efforts, feel the breath in, reach back. Exhale, low lunge, hands cartwheel to the floor and you lift your right heel. Inhale, standing splits, right leg rise. Option to put blocks underneath your hands. You might kickstand your fingers or flatten out your palms. Feel your low back level, your hips are square. And then see if you can melt your left ribs, left chest, even your forehead and your nose closer to your left leg. It's an optional tuck of the chin to the chest. Send your gaze up towards your navel center with loving awareness. Not judgment, but loving awareness. Follow your life-giving breath for three. Let it support you. Two. One more inhale, lift your right heel. Exhale, forward fold, right foot meets your left. Inhale, halfway lift, light and long. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees. Stay with me, exhale, prayer twist to the left. It's right elbow to left leg. Stay in the twist, inhale, open your arms, look up. Stay in the twist, exhale, thumbs to the sternum. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, chair plane, chest to knees, really push your butt back. Stay low, inhale, arms forward, biceps frame ears. Stay low, exhale, arms swim back. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, prayer twist over to the right, left elbow, right leg. Stay in the twist, inhale, open your arms. Stay in the twist, exhale, hands to your heart. Last one, inhale, chair pose. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, malasana, low squat. So you'll take a wider stance, toes are out, heels are in. Deep bend in both knees. Get your butt low. Option to sit on one or both blocks. Option to keep your hands down or join your palms to your heart space. You lift through the base of your skull. Send your gaze forward and downward or close your eyes to eradicate visual distraction. And whatever it is that you're feeling right now, Practice breathing with and through it. 
Whatever your human experience, practice breathing with and through it. And if this hip opener feels excellent to you, this is where you would stay in Malasana. If you'd like to explore Bakasana, your crow pose, you plant your hands out in front of you, say shoulder width distance, middle fingers are forward, lift your hips up, readjust, your toes point directly towards your wrists. Bend your elbows back and bend your knees forward for crow pose. You elevate through your heels, chin stays off the chest so you don't accidentally somersault. Lift one foot off the ground, maybe both feet off the ground. Elbows stay bent like you've practiced in Chaturanga and the breath is steady and deep like you've practiced through the whole class. Once you are satisfied with your efforts in that one pose, we'll meet in a standing forward fold. You'll straighten out your legs, head goes heavy. If you want more time in Malasana or Bakasana, take as long as you'd like, but forward fold is where we'll meet. As you regulate your breath deep into your belly and broad into your low back, Feel your feet are secure. Release hands to blocks or floor. Pyramid pose, step your left foot back. It's about two and a half to three feet, but both of your heels are grounded in pyramid pose. Left hand will stay on a block or on the floor. Inhale, revolve triangle, twist to the right. Right arm draw high. Exhale, pyramid pose, right hand return. Work with your breath. Inhale, revolve triangle, twist to the right, right hip back. And exhale, pyramid pose. This last one's a hold. Inhale, revolve triangle, twist to your right. Pull your right hip back and press your left heel down. If the left heel starts to lighten, just hop your left foot forward a few inches. Heart forward, shoulders down, gazes up towards your right thumb. Three. Can you get a little lighter through the left hand? See what's available there. Two. Stay with me for the in-breath. Exhale, pyramid pose, right hand return. Inhale, halfway left, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, left foot meets your right. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulder blade squeeze. Exhale, pyramid pose, right foot step back. Find your footing, feel that your right heel is grounded and your feet are hips with distance. So give yourself enough space. Right hand stay, that can be on a block or on the mat. Inhale, revolve triangle, twist to the left. Left hip back as you open your heart. Good, and exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, revolve triangle, open to the left, shoulder soft. There we go, exhale, pyramid pose. One more time, inhale, revolve triangle, here's your hold and breathe. Your spine, or rather your torso is parallel to the floor. So if you find you start to angle downward, get your heart even higher. Blocks can be really helpful there. Your heart and your head parallel to the mat. And then press your right heel down. Really squeeze your right leg straight. Option to turn the neck, look up at your left thumb. Practice a steady breath, even though it's challenging for three. Here's two. Stay with me for the in-breath. Exhale, pyramid pose, left hand come down. Inhale, halfway lift, your heart is open. Exhale, forward fold, right foot meet left. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, high plank, plant your hands, feet go back. At the top of your push-up, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga, option to drop to knees, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing, look high. Exhale, downward facing, look back. Feel your body breathe in. And exhale, puppy pose, drop to knees. Hips stay over your knees. Walk your hands and arms forward. Melt your forehead and chest down to blocks or all the way down to the floor. If you need less of a stretch, modify the pose. Take your arms wide, like hands come off to the floor. Regulate the breath, slow it down, steady it. And 
Belly breathing for three. Rib cage breathing for two. Breathing all the way up into your heart. That's one. You engage your abdominals. Rise up through table, come to hands and knees. Cross at your ankles. Roll over your feet, come to your seat and extend your legs out long in front of you. Now sway your hips right and left or scoot your flesh out from underneath your sitting bones that way you feel more grounded. Inhale, arms lift high. Lift the chin, lift the gaze. And exhale, forward fold over your two straight legs. You grab a hold of what you can. It might be your outer thighs or knees. It might be calves or ankles. It might be a peace finger and thumb bind around your big toes. Though it's subtle, work with the breath. Your inhale, the heart will lift forward. And your exhale, front ribs and belly melt to the thighs. Inhale, chest forward. So there's some length for your spine. Exhale, ribs and belly down towards the legs. One more time, feel the breath in. There's a lift in energy. And then feel the breath out, a settling of energy. You round your spine, sit tall. Plant your hands behind your hips, 10 fingers are forward. Bend your knees, 10 toes are forward. Inhale to reverse table, sweep your hips, lift the heart. Option on your exhale, drop your head back. Any shoulder fragility, please keep your buttocks down. Keep your buttocks down and skip the pose. Here for a count of five. If you want more of a shoulder stretch, keep your hips lifted, but send them forward towards your calves or your ankles. Four, belly is still breathing, ribs are breathing. Two, one more breath in to lift the hips. Exhale, lower your buttocks down. Good bound angle legs, soles of feet together, knees splay open wide. Take your hands to your ankles, a mild grip. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your head, lengthen. Exhale, splay your elbows, press them to inner legs and forward fold. Let the soles of your feet open. If your low back allows, your chin can drop into the chest, release through the cervical spine. If you want a self massage, use your thumbs, massage up and down the arches of your feet. You have about five rounds of breath. Feel the depth of your inhale and the length of your exhale. And for spinal support, you engage your abdominals. Round up, sit tall. Once you're upright, again, plant your hands. Feet go mats with distance, but your knees stay bent. Drop your knees over to the right. Lift through the middle, drop your knees over to the left. Lift through the middle, drop knees to the right. Lift through the middle, drop knees to the left. Now this would be progression one. You can stay right here, windshield wiper. If you'd like to advance and work with a little more mobility, when knees drop to the right, come to stand on your knees. You can use your hands or hands stay lifted. Lower your hips down, lower your hands down. Drop knees to the left and come to stand on your knees. Up to you, you can keep your butt down to the windshield wiper. Or try that mobility drill, lift and lower through hips and stand on your knees. Entirely up to you what you choose. I'll count you down for five. Here's four. May your choices come from your heart instead of the ego. It's three. Last two. And that's one. Balance out from your right to your left. And then once your butt comes back down to the floor, wide leg forward fold. Legs go wide into a V-shape from hips to heels. You'll take a breath in, lengthen to prepare. And exhale, fold down the middle. Might be a mild fold. You might even bend your elbows, bring forearms down. It just depends on what your anatomy allows. If you recall what I offered at the beginning of class, going deeper or farther in your postures, it's not inherently healthier or more beneficial or more healing. Your best depth is wherever you can breathe into your body. Aliven your feet with a flex or a point and take three conscious breaths. Two more. Mm -hmm. 
Last one. At the bottom of your exhale, you engage your abdominals. Press hands into mat, sit tall. Collect your feet, bend your knees, and then lie all the way down onto your back. Once on your back body, you'll walk your heels very close to your glutes, deep bend in both knees, arms are long at your sides, palms down. Inhale to bridge pose, drive into your heels and lift through your hips. If you'd prefer a restorative bridge at this point, put a single block underneath your sacrum. If you'd like an active bind, interlace your fingers beneath your buttocks and press your pinky fingers down, lift your heart high. Look at the breath at your upper abdominals or close your eyes for five. Stretch and strengthen through front and back bodies for four, three, two, and one. You break your bind, tuck your pelvis and lower your hips to the floor. Reclined butterfly, soles of feet together, knees wide. Place your hands on your belly and regulate the breath. And just for a few moments, you let go of the process of moving and you fill up with stillness. physically held by the ground that's beneath you, simultaneously cradled by the present moment that surrounds you. You press your low back into the mat, close off knees, close off hips. Take eagle legs on the right, press your right thigh and right knee over your left. You can take the half or full bind entirely up to you. Drop your eagle legs over to the left, arms open and you gaze to the right. And specifically to your supine twists, be sure to complete the exhale breath. Right, the breath of relaxation, notice how your body responds. Through the length of your right side, take a wide breath in. Exhale, unwind, take happy baby pose. Flare your bent knees wide and you grab a hold of what you can. Ultimately taking inventory, notice any changes to the body. No ego, no expectation. Take your eagle legs on the left. Press your left thigh over your right, half or full bind. And then you'll drop your eagle legs over to the right, arms open, look to the left. Feel a sense of heaviness in the back of the left shoulder and elbow. Let go of any guarding or held stress in your abdominals. And to nourish your relationship with the present moment, feel your body breathing. Your exhale, unwind and take happy baby pose. Now you can stay right here in happy baby pose to neutralize your spine. If you prefer the series of plow, shoulder stand and fish, that's our last bit of effort before meditation. If you'd like to join me in plow, you'll close off the knees, take your hands to your upper buttocks or low back, Lift your hips and guide your feet to the floor overhead. A really nice way to create space through the middle spine. If you're moving on, tuck your shoulders underneath your chest. Lift your legs up into shoulder stand. You really drive the backs of the shoulders into the mat to stay safe through the neck. Legs squeeze together, your toes point upward. Set your gaze or close your eyes 
and start to breathe really deep and wide, whether it's happy baby pose, plow or shoulder stand. You remember what you already know in your higher heart. If you want or need to exit early, come out of the pose when you want to. You would take that rest long before you start to feel exhausted or frustrated. These postures, they're a means of challenging your calmness. Your greatest response to the challenge is your smooth and complete breathing. It's a reminder that what you're doing is safe and okay, even if it feels stressful and challenging to you. Now take your time as things may have shifted after a one minute hold. From shoulder stand, you lower to plow. Feet return to the floor overhead. Use your hands as support. Slowly lower your middle spine, your low spine, your hips, and your butt. Bend your knees, plant your feet. You'll slide your hands underneath your butt. Palms down, sit on the backs of your hands. Drive into your elbows and forearms. Huge lift of the chest and head and drop your head back. Let your chin fall away from the chest. Shoulders draw back. You're here for five. You'd like to cleanse the exhale with an open mouth, go for it for four, three, two, and one. Slow to lift your head, look forward, and then release your shoulders, release your hands, hug both knees into your chest. Now for our meditation, one of two ways. You can adopt the pose of Shavasana, that space for corpse pose where your arms and legs are very long and heavy. If you prefer a seated upright position for your formal meditation, you would take Sukhasana, easy seated pose, let your ankles drop down. If you go for seated upright, I would encourage you to have a block underneath your hips. And that way your pelvis is neutral, your low back is nice and long. If like me, you have a tendency to run cold, you might consider putting sleeves or socks back on. Even a blanket over the front body if you're in Shavasana. Take the time that you need to set your space. If you're seated upright in formal meditation, you have the option for what's called Yanana Mudra. Draw index fingers and thumbs to touch. Gently extend out through your middle, ring, and pinky fingers. The seal commonly used in formal meditation, it helps to gather your mind. And it supports the free flow of prana to the physical body even as you remain still. To bring this full circle like we practice in centering, a cleansing exhale to settle into your posture of choice. Nostrils to navel, take a big breath in. And open mouth, cleanse and clear. Moving forward into our loving kindness meditation, you no longer are meant to control or shape the breath. Just let the breath become easy and natural, even quiet. And for our loving kindness meditation, we'll move through five stages. Cultivating metta or loving kindness for ourselves, for a neutral individual, for a loved one, for someone that has caused us stress or frustration. And we become most courageous in our efforts as we cultivate loving kindness for all beings. Much like any meditation, when you lose sight of the task at hand, please come back to where you're at and what you're doing. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I know peace. May I find freedom. May I move through the world with ease.
feel your body, breathe that in. You feel your body, breathe that out. Begin the cultivation of loving kindness for yourself. To build on that foundation at this time, I invite you to bring a loved one to the forefront of your focused mind and heart. You visualize someone that you love deeply. You see them in your mind's eye with as much detail as you possibly can. May your loved one be happy. May your loved one be healthy. May your loved one be safe. May your loved one know peace. May your loved one find their freedom. May your loved one move through the world with ease. Loving kindness for your loved one. Feel your body, breathe that in. And breathe that out. Drawing deeper inward into your heart space. For the third stage of loving kindness, I invite you to bring into your mind's eye a neutral individual. So this is someone that you don't have strong feelings for. Someone that you may have seen in passing at the grocery store or the gas station on your commute to work. To the best of your ability, bring this neutral individual into your heart and into your focused mind. May this person be happy. May this person be healthy. May this person be safe. May this person know peace. May this person find their freedom. May this person move through the world with ease. Loving kindness for your neutral individual. Breathe that in and breathe that out. In the fourth stage of this meditation, I invite you to bring to mind and to heart an individual that has caused you stress, frustration, or agitation. Bring this person into your mind's eye and visualize them. And allow this visualization to soften the edges of your heart. Metta for the person that has caused you stress, frustration, or irritation. May this person be happy. May this person be healthy. May this person be safe. May this person know peace. May this person find their freedom. May this person move through the world with ease. Loving kindness for the individual that has caused you stress, frustration, or irritation. Feel your body breathe in. And feel your body breathe out. And in the fifth and final stage of the metta meditation, we become most courageous with our efforts. Drawing deeply into your heart, you cultivate for all beings. May all beings be happy. May all beings 
be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. Loving kindness for the family of all beings. Feel your body breathe in. And feel your body breathe out. Enlivened by the energy of loving kindness that lives in your heart. There's room for you to decide. There's room for you to choose. You can stay upright, maintain your meditative seat, or you can recline to your back body and adopt the pose of Shavasana and take complete rest. You remain alert, but relax in your seated meditation. You carefully recline to your back body and take Shavasana. Whether you remain seated or take rest on your back body, it is incredibly important that your attention stay in the moment. As it is during these last few minutes of class that you hold space for the integration, the conscious absorption of all that you have done today. The breath work, the mindful movement, and the loving kindness in your heart. So as many times as your attention divides and you start thinking about the last year, and you start thinking about what's to come, Please give yourself the space and the grace to begin again and come back home. With your gathered state of mind, your strong, well-abled body, and the willingness in your heart, may you savor and appreciate your precious time well spent in rest.
While you are in this precious state of rest, I'd like you to imagine that you are surrounded and held by the vibration of love. Surrounded and held by the vibration of love and its purity and its safety. And in perfect combination with the loving kindness that lives in your heart, return to your life giving breath and take a deep breath in. Feel the energy rise and a complete breath out. And do that two more times. Feel your body breathe in, energy rise up into your heart and feel your body breathe out. Caught up in life, I've discovered that endings done properly are excellent beginnings. Having tapped into the love that brings peace, I have become like Thoreau's Lake. My soul swept clean each day, each practice, a fresh surface constantly welling up. Now, the beauty of this awakening, whether from meditation or Shavasana, it's conscious movements inspired through the feet and the fingers. Move your jaw right and left, let your head go heavy right and left. Eventually a full body stretch that will feel most excellent through arms and legs. If you're seated upright, you might recline to the back and explore that length. Lengthen your limbs to traction your spine. And then draw your knees up in towards your chest. Or roll to fetal pose on your right side. Bicep, block, or blanket, support the right side of your head. And as you draw inward or look inward, pause to feel into the effects of today's practice. What it is that you've cultivated through your concentration and efforts today. And whatever this process has revealed for you, may you carry it with you moving forward into this new beginning. Take your time as you transition upright to Sukhasana, easy seated pose. If you prefer a little bit of height, blocks or blankets underneath your hips. And for the closure of the practice, take Anjali Mudra prayer palms, a gentle bow of your chin to your chest. And it's with this blending of head, heart and hands that we journey through the prayer of loving kindness one last time. May our efforts and our energies be of benefit to the family of all beings. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your healing, your practice is continuous. The intention in your heart steady and of benefit to the family of all beings. To simultaneously seal and share, feel your body breathe in and feel your body breathe out. With an abundance of love and gratitude extended to you, we close the practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Um, thank you so much for carving out the time to join me today. It was an absolute pleasure to hold class and have you all join me. Thanks so much, Christy, for being here. Um, it's just, it's so wild to think like two years ago, uh, I was teaching a virtual class from home and was just so hungover and so sick and showing up in the worst way 
to my life. And I'm just so grateful to be able to share this practice with you in a way that's far more heart filling. And um, it's just, I'm so grateful for you all. So thank you for being here today and sharing this practice. Thank you. Happy new year. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Catherine. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Thanks, Jana. Thanks for coming. Hi, Miriam. Thank, thank you. you. Nice to see you again. So good to see you too. Thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. This was such a great practice. Thank you, Ashley. Thanks, Mike. Peace. Very fine. Thank you. Bye, Lindsay. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy Thank New Year. Year. Happy healthy. Bye, Beth. Yes, happy healthy and wealthy while we're there. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks, Butch. Thank you, Lupe. Yeah, congratulations, and I'm happy to hear you. And you always look so beautiful, so, so, <laughs> so clean. You always look so clean. So I'm glad you are in the journey. Happy New Year. Thanks, Lupe. Take care of yourself. Bye. Thanks, Jane. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you for sharing this special day with us. Thank you for sharing it with me as well. It means so much. Okay. Be well, friend. Same to you. Thank you. That was wonderful. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks for being here and practicing with your mom. I loved when I saw your mom's little message yeah. <laughs> that you guys could take class together. It's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Thank you, mother, as well. Yeah, thank you all both. Love you Thanks. guys. Thank you, Bye. Yeah. Thanks so much. Sending love on your third year. Oh, thanks so much, Lily. I appreciate it. You can do it. Thank you. Thanks, Nancy. I'll see you this week, maybe. See ya. Sounds good. Bye.